What is up guys? So a few days ago some news came out about what happened on stage 14 of the Tour de France uh, last Saturday. So what happened to tour leader Chris Froome, you've probably heard about it here. Um, a, a French spectator poured urine on him and I was screaming out uh, dopa. You know, no matter if he's a doper, if he's clean, it doesn't not really relevant. You know, it's still really disrespectful for fans to be doing that to the professional cyclists, especially while they're racing. You know, it's disgusting. Surely, you know, people around would have saw it happen, reported him, but as far as I'm concerned, that hasn't happened. So here we're going to see what Chris Froome had to say about the whole incident. Fan, oh, supposed fan. Um... At one point on one of the drags, quite early on in the stage, um, threw a pot of urine at me while shouting "Dope" like that. So it was it was clearly a, a, a French fan, um, and that uh, it's not acceptable. It's not acceptable on any level. Um, obviously, we're, we're all doing our, our level best out here to try and try and race us as hard as we can to try and uh, change the image of the sport. What's your message to French cycling fans who don't believe you are clean? Try and make up your own mind about things. Don't listen to the likes of certain commentators who are going to... They're from the old era. These are ex-cyclists. They're, they're the ones saying, listen, this performance looks dubious. This, this doesn't look right to me. And make up your own mind. Uh, you look at the race. Look at how hard we work to get here. Um, we're not we're not cheating um, and only only time will tell um, but it's it's a shame if we're gonna have to wait 10 15 years to really be credited with with the victories I'm a hundred percent clean insists Tour de France leader Chris Froome but doping suspicions surrounding the British team Skyrider have reached such a frenzy that he says a spectator threw a cup of urine at him on Saturday's 14th stage. That's unacceptable on so many different levels. Froome fumed afterwards. We're professionals. I wouldn't blame the public for this. It really is a minority of the people out there. But I would blame some of the reporting on the race that's been very irresponsible. Fellow Team Sky rider Richie Port says he's been punched and the team believes its computers have been hacked. Then there's the enigmatic tweet from disgraced Lance Armstrong, stripped of his seven Tour de France titles because of systematic doping. Chris Froome has already won the world's greatest bike race back in 2013. He looks set to repeat that success next Sunday on the Champs-Élysées. Though convincing his critics he is clean could be an even tougher challenge. Yeah, so as you can see through those few videos, Team Sky hasn't really... Uh, had a few unlucky incidents this Tour de France. Hopefully it doesn't happen in the upcoming stages till the Champs-Élysées and hopefully this kind of behaviour stops from uh, spectators and hopefully the spectators start respecting the, uh, the pros a bit more than they currently are. So thanks for watching today's video. Please like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more. See ya.